Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to ground and where today we're hopping back into our world mode gameplay and we are going to be running around and doing the pond today. So what we're going to be doing in this one is we're going to be getting ourselves a dagger, we are going to get ourselves a guild tube, we are going to go down into the pond and we're going to start the pond area. I don't know if we're going to finish it in this episode but we are going to do our best and try, especially with all of the different animals and stuff that are down in there from the spiders and all of that. But before we go any further we do have to start our day with the day with our daily dad joke so this is from hmp the legend uh, thank you so much for submitting your dad joke it said did you hear about the kidnapping at school it's okay he woke up ha 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 yeah kind of dark humor but even still uh still a fun one kid napping ha 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 yeah good joke not really anyway um i thought that it was good so thank you all so much for those of you who are submitting your dad jokes to the pool i really do appreciate it so much all right so let's go over what i did in the meteor between episodes uh, i slept for the night and i did let um the um the weaver here the spinning wheel provide us with all the silk rope that we were going to need to get our um little duke collector done here also i did run over to the haze and i got lucky enough that a gas bug or stink bug followed me down into the haze so it ended up dying so i got myself the remaining stink bug parts that i needed so i can now build my insect hammer which is absolutely fantastic with that we can start getting our milk molars so from here on out the playthrough should really really start kicking off so i'm looking forward to actually being able to play through this uh properly now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna throw on this armor piece here because it's really the only chest piece that i can wear right now that's going to be worth a diddle for me going into um the new areas i'm also going to bring with me my axe i do not need um this these legs anymore those are useless to me at the moment my gas mask is not needed anymore because one it's pretty much broken down completely and two it's just extra at this point um i'm going to throw a couple things of food in here i know that may sound a little silly because i've been running out of food lately but i'm just gonna do it because i feel like i have a little too much at the moment okay so getting all of this put away it's clearing up our inventory a little bit more which is great i love that we have a little bit more cleared inventory space here for me to be able to use okay perfect this is good enough for now uh, we're gonna bring the shovel with us so we can get the uh koi bones and the koi fish scales and the bones and stuff like that maybe we can even get a bone trident that would be really awesome um, I'm going to leave my helmet here though because there's no reason for me to have this helmet at the moment I know what you guys are probably saying well sim what about the tasties and stuff I'm actually just going to be dodging and weaving around them the best that I can um, trying to avoid them because to me that's just a good way to get myself killed also you may be wondering well sim why aren't you wearing legs because I am after I craft my um my guild tube i'm gonna try to go and grab the fins as well so let's start off with a little bit of food here and then we're gonna grab a little bit of water as well so that way we don't die due to lack of water poisoning there we go perfect lots of water i'm gonna grab a couple clover leaves on the way over because i would like to build another lean to over by the pond so I have all the clover leaves I need, so now I'm just going to need to grab a couple sprigs. Bada bing, bada boom, there we go. And let's make our way over to the pond. I'm going to grab a couple more sprigs because I'm assuming that I'm going to have to make a... Uh, a workbench over there so I can start getting some of the other things made, like the dagger and such. So we're going to do that. Jump up here. Grab some sap. Run down over here, grab some mushrooms, because food is always super important. I may have grub roasts and stuff on me, but still it's important to keep getting more food. Because in woe mode, you run out of food really, really fast. What's up, Mr. Ladybug? I'm not even going to try right now. I would, but it's just not worth my time. That's just right now, fighting you is just asking to die, and that's just not something I'm really into at the moment. Juice drop. Free juice drop. Thank you very kindly. Very, very good. Almost full on food and water now. And having a couple 
aphid honeydew for health, for backup health, along with that stuff. Do I have any? Ooh, I could make a couple fiber bandages too, giving me a little bit more health. But there's going to be stuff that's down in the pond that I can use to get health. So I'm not super worried about that at the moment. Alrighty. Here we are, right at the pond. Perfect. Welcome to the pond, everybody. Our first time jumping into the water in this playthrough. So this is going to be pretty good. At least jumping into the pond water, I should say. Look! Something's digging through a rock. How incredibly impossible. Not impossible, but still. You understand what I'm saying, though. You pick it up what I'm throwing down. Are you smelling what I'm stepping in? Alrighty. Then while we're here, let's just go ahead and get the preliminaries. This is going to become an outpost at some point. And I can move, like, the workbench and the lean-to around when I need to. Uh, grab a quick grass plank. Shouldn't take much time at all, if any. Just one really quick grass plank here. Go! One, two, and three. Toss you in here. Go to build. Can I build a dagger? Spider Fang Dagger, but not an... Oh, Pebble Dagger. Here we are. Two Crude Rope, two Lily Pad Wax, and two Peblets. All right, so the Crude Rope is super easy, and the Peblets is super easy. So I'm just going to grab those items really quick. There's one for Crude Rope, and there is two for Crude Rope. Forget. was That was needed for... The workbench, right? No, it's not needed in the workbench. Nice. Okay. Thought I saw a pebble, but I didn't. Well, we do have this big old hammer. Oh, there's a... Oh, yeah. There, I, for, I keep forgetting. I can get milk molars now. Let's do that. Nice. I'm going to go run inside Burgle's house really quick. There's another milk molar in there. There's a golden milk molar in there. Inside of the oak lab, I should say. Yeah, I'm just going to run in there and I'm going to grab the, the milk molar. Because it's always good to get any milk molars you can. There we go. Got the peblets I require. Now it's just the lily pad wax. Making some great progress so far. In this episode. I know it's been a lot of running, but hey, I mean, we've made some great progress so far. Bergs, tell me about milk molars. Because I know you love to. Here's a burgle chip. Alright, uh, pump me up with some milk molars. Nice, I have one. We're going to up that max health immediately. And yoked! Alright, then the next thing I'm going to do is up my max storables. I'm just going to run over here. Dip on down. Dip on down again. Get us some Mega Milk Molar action here. So we can stack our storables a little, our, our consumables a little bit more. I would do arrow stacks, but I'm still really not an archer. No matter how much I want to be, I'm still not. Alright. We're gonna get yoked. Nice. All right, milk molar upgrades going over into the pond. This is a good episode so far. Like I said, going into the pond and we haven't even jumped into the water yet. And we're 10 minutes into the episode already. At least we're about to get our dagger made. And once our dagger's made, we can get our lily or we can get our uh, eel grass. Once we get our eel grass, we can get our gill tube. Once we get our gill tube, everything's just going to be doing so much better. I guess maybe I should say, like, this is the prep episode for the pond base. And in the next episode, we'll do the pond base because I still have to make um, the gill tube, which I need my silk rope for. And I got to run back and grab that. But here we are. We are in the pond. Nice. All right, where's my lily pad wax? There it is. Grab that, all that I can. Boop, 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 boop. 
Alright. Grab a couple pieces of algae. Or free food while I'm over here. Alright. Pebble dagger. Oh, come on. Here we go. Pebble dagger in my hand. Grab the pebble dagger. Toss it down there. Let's swim down and get some eel grass. And some air. And some and some air. Thank you. And I have I'll take that. Thank you. Swim for the bubble. Swim for the bubble. Swim for the bubble. Hey, we got it. Nice. Okay. Good, good, good. Now, I'm going to be going and getting the rotten fin flops because it's easier than trying to hunt down the the water boatman and stuff like that to try to get the fin flops. I literally only need one spider silk and I know I have it back at my base. And the fastest way for me to get back to my base is just to get killed by something. And if I take off all my gear, it's not really damaging anything. It's just kind of fast travel for me at that point. Here, let's... I really don't want this to get damaged again. Let's just go do a quick jump to my base here. Hey buddy, how you doing? Hey buddy, how you doing? All right, perfect. I like how that's my that's my fast travel. Dang it! <laughs> my plan failed. That was just a waste of time. <laughs> All right, let's run back to the base, grab our spider silk, make our guild tube. And then go and get our fin flops. We're, we're, we're going to get this done, guys. I promise we're going to get it done. Ooh, free water. Don't mind if I do. I'm still mad about the fact that my dandelion tuft just disappears. That's very annoying, just so you know. That the fact that it's just there and then it's not. Don't look at me in that sort of direction. Poor Weevil. Good luck, my friend. Better than starving, I think. Why? You were chasing the ant. Go chase the ant again, not me. I don't want any of your Girl Scout cookies at the moment. I want actual Girl Scout cookies. Jumpy, jumpy. Okay. Here we are. Let's grab our spider silk. Spider silk. Spider silk. I also really need to get the weed stems for that. Okay. Let's grab our craft and go to here and grab our guild tube said our guild tube i need a workbench to craft it <laughs> okay cool awesome yeah nice all right now back to the other zone let's go onwards to victory Make our way to the pond. Can't touch this, Mr. Wo Mr. Spot, Mr. Ant. This is on purpose, by the way.
Because my respawn point is right there. That is why I did that, if you were wondering. Okay, now that we're back here, throw our gear back on. Check where the koi fish is. Where is he? He's around. Although it is kind of creepy that I don't see him yet. Probably way down there. Where is the koi fish? Koi fish? Hello? My dude? Grab some air really fast. Alright, back down we go. There he is. I was gonna say it. Weird that I couldn't see him. But there he is. Okay, so there are caves that are along the walls over here. And inside one of them is where you find the rotten fin flops. And that is what I am after. I wonder if we're going to piss off any mosquitoes by coming up here. Now there's some mosquitoes right there. All right. Grub roast spoiled. No, my food spoiled. Dang it. Uh-oh. Mr. Koi Fish is literally swimming right at me right now. Oops. Alright. There he is right there. Oh, he angry. Ooh, he angry. Bye-bye. You go bye-bye now. You just keep on swimming there, bud. You can- you cannot hunt me, that would be great. Go eat a mosquito or something. Are you still underneath me? Well, part of go away, didn't you hear? Oh, he really, really wants to get me. I don't think I've ever been chased this much by the koi fish. I wonder if they upped his aggro. Hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna hop over here anyway. Hop up here. Oops. Hop up here. And then run this way a little bit more. I know there's- oh, those are lightning bugs, not mosquitoes, but... This way, I am at least a little bit further away from where he comes and tries to get me. Alright, so the entrance to this cave should be right around here. There it is. No, it's not. It should be right over here. It should be right here somewhere, and then as soon as I find it, I just swim in there and grab my rotten fin flops. I just gotta make sure I'm in the right spot. I swim too far? I may have swam too far. That is always a possibility. Nope, that's it, right there. O2, and on we go. I don't think so. I really don't think that's what you're wanting to do right now, Mr. Mosquito. Oh, this might not be the right place. Nope, this one's not the right one. Still, fun to find this one, though. The one that's full of rotten ant heads. And then this is actually where you come to get... This guy. Ooh, that's a little broken, guys. But, that's how you get this abomination totem. So that was not the right thing. But that's okay. That's how you know you're in the right spot when you start finding the caves, so it's alright. Grab some free algae for food, grab a couple more slime mold stocks to make some torches for later, because we're going to need some torches. Come out here where the mosquitoes are still nice and pissed off. 
I'm just gonna swim over a little bit more. You should not be able to hit me underwater, so... I wish the koi fish would, like, jump up and eat them. I forget, was it that I had swim down? No, it wasn't that I said to swim down further. I think that I just swam past it, to be honest. Alright, perfect. Oh, we can go up and get air. Here we go. Where, oh where, was that entrance? There, was that it? I know it's around here. I know you guys are probably wondering, Sim, why are we watching a video of you just swimming in a circle? Well, because it's part of playing grounded, that's why. <laughs> Alrighty. Ooh. That's a milk molar right there. I think I need a tier 2 dagger though to cut this, right? Yeah, this one I need a tier 2 dagger in order to cut those soggy roots. Once you cut those soggy roots, that is a free milk molar. Which is absolutely fantastic. Grab this raw science while I'm down here. There's so much good stuff in here. Doot, 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 doot. Doot, 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 doot. Oh, God. Swim down quickly. Ah! <laughs> All righty. Oh, and the koi fish. And the koi fish. No, Mr. Koi fish. No, 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 no. <laughs> Go away, Mr. Koi fish. I don't want any. Alrighty. Uh-oh. Just stay over there. Just stay over there. Go a different direction. Swim the No, swim the other way. Swim the other way. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. You can't get me if I go over here. By the way, a lot of people have been asking about what this is because nothing's ever been done with this. So a lot of people are like, Sim, what is this? Sim, what is this? Uh, this is a room that's not ready to be opened yet. So you could come in here and get some raw science, but this door is not ready to be opened yet. So it doesn't open anytime soon. Even if you activate the power and stuff, that door still does not open. But I will grab these three quartzite shards while I'm in here. Alright, let's go see if the if the koi fish still wants to tango. It does not appear so. Okay, perfect. Also, it's dawn upon me. I may have swam a little too far to get my rotten fin flops because there's caves that are that dart that are spread all along this wall here. So you just have to find the right cave. And you know you're in the right cave because there'll be a bunch of uh, flowers and stuff in it. Or I'll tell you, having the koi fish swimming around pretty close behind me is not something that I've been enjoying. I got to get over there, too, at some point. Ah, uh, the sounds that the, the tadpoles make. I've always liked the sounds that the tadpoles made. Almost time to go back up for oxygen. And I know, like, there's certain things that if you kill it, you can get oxygen from them and stuff. Like, if you kill a water boatman, you can get the oxygen from them, too. Alright, here we go. I think I found the right cave this time. 
I'm pretty sure. Nope, that's that's not even a cave. It looked like a cave, but that's not a cave. See you know what I mean by there's little things that are darted all along over here? That's one of them. Do 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 do. Just keep swimming. We're pulling a dory here. We're literally, we just keep on swimming. I sneak up right here. I literally can't sneak up right here. Okay, well that almost killed me thinking I was up for oxygen, but I wasn't. Swim down before the mosquitoes spot you. Because right there by the little half circle or half piece of wood thing, that is a really dangerous spot to go. Here we go. This is where this is where I wanted to be. This spot right here. See all the flowers? This is where I wanted to be. All that time swimming around to come over here and find these. Be careful in here though, because that that spider definitely is not your friend. He will swim faster than you, so you gotta kinda outmaneuver him a little bit. All right, and then once you got those, you're pretty much golden free. At this point, I would say that we're pretty much set up completely to go and explore the pond depths now with our rotten uh, fin flops and our guild tube. We're pretty much ready to go. So I think that this is where I'm going to leave this episode, and we're going to pick up in the next one, uh, diving down to go and explore the pond lab. So thank you guys all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please hit that like button for me to let me know you guys want to see more. Also, please don't forget to leave me a comment down below. The dad jokes are always welcome, so I really appreciate everybody so much for who's been doing that so far. So thank you guys all so much, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Say bye, Pete! Thank you. Okay, the look here wasn't needed though, bud.